Okay, welcome back to the beer room. It's time for another beer review. And if you're watching this channel for the first time, this is KC's Beer Room, and I welcome you to the show. And if you're a subscriber already, thanks for coming back. So tonight, from Mountain Culture, which is up in Katoomba and Emu Plains in New South Wales, Australia, along with Cloud Water Brewing in Manchester, England, UK. We've got their Cloud Water Hazy Cloudy IPA. So, this is the can. We'll give you a look. Bit of a close up. Beautiful looking can. Let's get the beer goggles on so we can actually see it. So there's the iconic blue mountains, which are green, with all the clouds on the front of the can. It's a beautiful bit of artwork. We'll give you a quick read what they say on the back. Cloudy IPA, for our collaboration with one of the most esteemed breweries in the UK, we used hops from our two hemispheres to recreate a juicy IPA that's low on bitterness and big on tangy tangerines, ripe mangoes and sweet pineapples. Throw in a little extra creamy, cloudy body and it's like it was poured directly from the heavens into this can. Well, I'll be the judge of that. So, um, yeah. So I guess I think they get the cloudiness is in the brewing process of the yeast gives it that cloudy appearance um we'll crack it open and then i'll just um i'll show you a few of the other ipas because this is in the new england ipa style Yes, I know a few of you will be upset because they're only in a 355 mil can. It was from Portobello's at East Blacksland for a four pack. It was 28 bucks. So that's like, what, just over $7 a can. Eight bucks if you buy a can singular. So Mountain Culture, well known for their New England IPA, the status quo. Won the Gabs two years in a row. That's their famous one. They've also had a collaboration with Stone and Wood, the Backpack Ale. Another nice New England IPA. Uh, they also did one with Sierra Nevada in the US of A. That's their Summer Pale Ale. And I think this one as well with Stone. The SoCal IPA. I'm not sure if that's a New England IPA. That might be more West Coast. But anyway, we'll put it up there. So they've got a good range of collaborations that they've been doing lately. There's a lot more than this as well. But these are the, the New England IPA style. So there's that beer. Have a look. You can see it's cloudy. It's hazy. We'll have a snifferoonie. Juicy. It smells very juicy. Pineapple, mango, like they say. That's enough of the snatch. How about we um, have a taste and we'll get it down the hatch. Before we do that, it's got a nice head retention, very small bubbles. Beautiful, soft mouthfeel. Um, yeah, mango. I'm getting mango. Bit of pineapple. Not really sure about the tangerine. Don't know what a tangerine tastes like. Is that like a mandarin? I'm not really sure. But anyway, it's very nice. It's like a very soft, pillowy mouthfeel. Juicy mango, pineapple. It's all right. 
But the thing that bothers me with these collaborations, they're all very similar. It's hard to be able to tell the difference or remember the difference in these beers. Status quo, it's a lot more bitter. This one is zero IBU, so very low on bitterness, just more of that juicy, hoppy um, flavours coming through. Uh, the backpack ale, very similar to this one. Could be the same beer. The Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, mm, I'm not really sure. Can't remember to be able to, able to tell you exactly if it tasted the same. But I think the Backpack Ale and this one, very similar. Not too far off the status quo, but the status quo is just that got that more of that bitter hit to it. So it's a good beer. I don't mind it. I, um, it's it's at six percent. Yeah, it gives you that bit of a boof kick to it. Easy to drink. Um, yeah, I like it. I recommend it. Go out and get one of these up here if you haven't had one yet. Uh, so. I don't know, not much else more to say about this beer. It is juicy. You do get a bit of mango, -y, very strong mango, bit of pineapple, I guess tangerine, whatever that is, is in there. So I'm going to give it, I'll give it a rating right out of the KC's Beer Room rating. I'm going to give it, look, I'm going to give it a send it. And out of five, that equates to. I'm going to go 3.58679, 3.58679 if I got that right. But anyway, thanks for joining me. You all get there and you all better fucking send it. Thanks for joining me on another episode of KC's Beer Room. Don't forget. Like, subscribe, and even if you feel like it, share it with your mates. Nice.